What is good friends, I'm gonna be bringing you World Cup Round 1 Isle of League versus Psychic Mewtwo and looking at team preview, this is a replay this time they played two at my time so didn't catch this one live even though I'm wild enough to stay up long sometimes Mega Manichem is a really good matchup I'm gonna be going off this being Adamant Manichem just to wall break and I assume it's gonna have Zen Headbutt because usually, usually you see the, um, the Thunder Punch set only when, you, when it's paired with Tapu Koko so this is really bad for Isle of League because he's, I assume his Scarf is going to be Terrakion which can't even revenge Medicham because it resists both of its stab. Majuna dies guaranteed if it's max HP after Stealth Rocks to high jump kick. Uh, Toxapex has a good chance to die to his headbutt after Rocks. Dapabulu dies to Ice Punch unless it has a lov lot of HP investment. And Landris can only live Ice Punch if it has the Intimidate off. And Heatron obviously gets blown away. So I think Isle of League didn't expect him to bring a Medichim at all. Because he has been. I saw Isle of League using um, Mew lately. Mew is one of the best checks. And I can see League um, kind of predict. expecting uh, Psychic Mew to do, bring something like a bit fatter balance. Because he had a Tapu Bull, which is like a good break at the moment with Sword Stance and Z Move. And I saw the um, Psychic Mewtwo in the OUPL. I think he used Volcarona Semi Stall one week, and another week he used Baton Pass. Like it was, that was like the last day Baton Pass was still allowed. But other than that, I haven't seen too many games. Uh, I can't remember the other games that I, if I recorded other games from Psychic Mewtwo. But I think League brought like Mew two or two, two or three times in its last two games. So I'm really surprised to see the manage ship. But just for matchup, it's looking really bad for League and. If Psychic Mewtwo just gets up the rocks, I assume they're gonna, he's going to be leading off with this Landris. It's going to be really good for him. And they're both lead off with their Landris. And they can either exchange their rocks here or get HP Ice damage. But like I said, Psychic Mewtwo is probably just going to go for the rocks. Because that is so important for the manage him to get important kills. on Guarantee the kills on Majuna. Higher the chance to Oko. They, yeah, get the kill on Majuna. Have higher chance to Oko the packs. If the bull has some HP, higher shots that Ice Punch kills it. And yeah, League sees that he's probably gonna go for rocks, get some HP Ice damage, and now League can probably go for his rocks, expecting Psychic Mewtwo to switch out. And I don't know how much I agree with this play, because he goes hard into Medicham. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, because he's either gonna HP Ice or rocks there. And even if he earthquakes, you at least have the Intimidate. I don't think he was ever earthquaking there, because it would just give away way too much for Bad Top if you stayed or if you go Tangrowth. Like, nah, earthquake is just not the play. So I guess I can understand if I keep Mewtwo's play here. And we see Isle of League just gets up his rocks. And now he can threaten this out with an Ice Punch. Um, this doesn't have the Intimidate on the manage him, so it's obviously gonna die. And yeah, like I said, he doesn't have switches, so it's gonna be bad. He can try to pivot on the Toxapex and an Ice Punch, which is, which is what he tries to do. And Psychic Mewtwo just goes for a uh, Zen Headbutt and blows this out of the window, so... <laughs> You, you see he had the rocks up and was after rocks it was in his favor to kill the Toxapex and even if he didn't have the rocks up back <laughs> and Toxapex would have lived that like what was Leak switching in there like Ice Punch might have even killed the Toxapex when it was so low so he couldn't have even pivoted out afterwards so he just had to sack something basically and I'm really interested what Leak is gonna even do to scare this match him out you can either try to go Landris or you can Try to go into Tapu Bulu or he try and bluff a Choice Scarf or bluff that he's really bulky. Like he does on a Tapu Bulu, which makes me think. So he's either bluffing the Scarf or he's bluffing the fact that he has a lot of HP investment. I did do run a cult before this game, before my recording, and you would need like 160 HP investment to live Ice Punch after Rocks. Do I like have a decent chance to live that? Because I have seen someone use 160 HP on Bulu once. I don't remember who it was. I think it was on the team that Blunder used in the show on live yesterday. But yeah, so he's basically, Psychic Mewtwo is uh, forced to scout for the Scarf here, because Medichim just wins the game, even though this is probably not Scarf Bulu, you never know. And yeah, I assume he's just gonna go out into his Tangrus or um, the Jirna. So we see the Medichim switches out first into Majorna, and I think the type of Bulu switches out too. Yep, so that confirms that the Medichim is uh, faster than the uh, Tapu Bulu so he did indeed bluff the scarf there 
goes in a heat gem like yeah I think he just had to bluff the scar and then he doubled out in the heat gem breaked in the Magiona slash Tangrowth to come out because he did have the grassy terrain up so even if the Tangrowth came out Earthquake wouldn't do that much to the Heatran. I don't think it put even 2 hit KO in grassy terrain so that's a cool play on Leaf's part kind of risky but definitely like you have he had to make some sort of aggressive play the Magiona's matchup is so bad so the Heatran can go for Magma Storm here and second Mewtwo's only switches like Ladio or Greninja and he does go on a Greninja, and this should do like 50%. Um, it is 36, but yeah, with the after effect, it will, it will almost do 50%, because it is 12% after. He heals a bit with grassy terrain, so it didn't do 50, but it did like 40 ish. And Greninja can go for Hydro Pump here or a Spike. And we do see he's Ash Greninja, and he has Surf, so he's not trying to miss, which is um, definitely respectable. I mean, he has High Jump Kick and Zen Hit, but on Magic Champ, so this, not, this is not. Those are 90% moves, and he was like, maybe. I don't want one 80%, 90% is risky enough for me. And yeah, we do see it's probably a solve this in June as it takes nothing from his sp what I expect to be a specs serve. Yeah, he just got gas to run, he didn't get leftovers. Yeah, so he's IV. And what League is gonna do here, he can either go for Volt Switch, expecting the Tangros or the opposing Magina, or he can go for Florican. Predicting Psychic Mewtwo to pivot into the Landorus, which is really low, to block a Volt Switch. Psychic Mewtwo was just thrown his Tangrowth and did, what did he do here? I think he just went for Florican, yeah. So this works out for Psychic Mewtwo, he keeps his Landorus as fodder for later. And he can, Psychic Mewtwo can go for knockoff here. Mm -hmm. You can either go for knockoff or for like hidden power eyes if he expects the Tapu Bulu because sometimes Tapu Bulu beats Tangros one on one because most of the Tangros don't carry Sludge Bomb anymore. Knockoff is also kind of risky because the Terrakion would get an attack boost, but uh, I don't think there's a world in which League would ever go hard to Terrakion because he would lose his Choice Scarf. Um, yeah, also getting rid of the Toxapex early game will potentially make the Greninja late game really scary with Water Shuriken, I just realized. Even though you still have to wait in those two months more. But yeah, this time, Psychic Mewtwo basically is free to do whatever he wants to here, because he, this Magina is at minus two, not really threatening him. And League does predict him here to s uh, pivot out into his Landris, I think. And goes for Florican again. Uh, okay, I don't know if he was just trying to get more grassy terrain on this, or if you predict him to pivot into Landris. Oh, I can also see, I can also see, maybe he predicted him to double into, into Medichim, because Medichim just murders I Love League. I could see him predicting the Medichim, because Medichim just covers every double, it covers the Heatran double, it covers the, the Bulu double, because now he's scouted already for the Bulu being Scarf. So yeah, I can see I Love League predicting, he was trying to catch the Medichim on a double switch, because it's such a big threat to his team, and it didn't work out, Psychic Mewtwo not trying to throw that in. Which is definitely <laughs> the correct play in my opinion, as we do see it, the Solvest Majunas that gets knocked off. And yeah, now we can go for um, Earthquake here, because the Grass Turan ended, so he can't really go into Heatran. Maybe he goes in the land he picked in the Earthquake, he does go into Heatran. I would have gone for Earthquake, did he do it? He does just go for knockoff again, which is definitely an acceptable play. And yeah, we do see this, uh, yeah, we already knew it was the leftover Heatran. And Heatran can go for Magma Storm, pick off the Tangos here. As the Psychic Mewtwo decides to keep it, obviously. And it's like his only resist at this point, like Greninja was too low, it couldn't come in after rocks. So he switched in with Lyos, which is a fine play. And this should do like 30% maybe. Yeah, 23, so we'll do a bit over 30 with the 12% extra damage. And the Lyos can uh, threaten the Heatran here with a potential serve. Um, I do think this would be. Scarf Ladios. But he will do, what does he go for? He just goes for Psyshock. There's absolutely nothing to Magirna. And I could see him going into Landris here, potentially blocking a Volt Switch. But yeah, this time League doubles out into into Heatran, which is a good play. Let me explain to you why it was a good play, because if you Volt Switch and he goes to Landris, you can get blocked. But if you double out into Heatran, it covers the Magirna and it covers the Landrus, because you know the Landrus is defensive and fast Heatran outspeeds that. 
So by doubling out on the Majuna slash Landris, he gets a Magma Storm here and he basically gets a kill as long as he hits. As the Majuna does live on 5%, but he basically gets a kill. The Majuna can't kill the Heatran. We do see its leftovers, Majina, which is really interesting. I think it was offensive leftovers, which maybe shift gear. So he didn't have a Z move. Like I don't think he had a Z move unless he Z move Greninja. I should have called this back serve damage early on the AV Majina. Okay, so I did just run the calc, and we do see that Greninja is not choice backs mo most likely because it should have done um, 30 to 35 percent to the Majina. So that means the Majuna is either Calm, Spadev with a lot of Spadev, which is like I think AB Aaron's that said, or the Greninja is not choice backs and it's Z movie results or not, which is I think more likely. Because even even if this is Calm with 160 Spadev, which is like an example I put in the Kalk, which is like a lot of Spadev, even then it uh, still would be a low roll if it did 24%. Like yeah, if he was max Spadev AV, then 24% then would have been a min roll, but I just think this is not specs. It's just more likely to me. And yeah. Greninja is obviously free to click the water move here. He's not gonna go hard into Tabu Bulu. Because like Tabu Bulu doesn't even have that good Spadev. It's, especially if it's offensive. It can't even switch well into Greninja. And potential Ice Beam. Stuff like that. He's just gonna sack off his Majorna or Bulu. Oh he does go hard into Bulu. I did not expect he would do that. We see it's one of those rare U-turn Ash Greninjas. We don't really see that often anymore. You see... People trying out like Ice Beam a lot, like people like Extra Sensory sometimes to catch Kelly on a switch. I mean, I can understand that you don't want to give him the Ash from, but going Bull Death kind of risky. I mean, he was more than likely going for Surf there. u actually was a risky play, kind of. He could have still sacked this Ladi in the next turn. Um, this basically gives him a free Medichim now and he can kick Ice Punch, right? Yeah, he does go into Medichim and I don't see a reason not to click Ice Punch. As I assume he's gonna have to sack his land or Majir now. He sacks his Bulu, that's fine too. Like, he had to sack something there. That's like, every time Medichim comes in on Majir now or Bulu, or he he has to sack. As the Landris gets off the Intimidate, that way he can potentially live an Ice Punch. Yeah, he would. He would need a. He would need a max roll at this percentage of health to kill Landris. So I assume he's gonna switch out in Tangrus or uh, his own Landris. But he does just go for Ice Punch and gets the roll. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense thinking about it because there was grassy terrain up, so the Landris couldn't even hurt the Medicham that bad. So yeah, never mind. That did make sense, and I also calc. I did calc Jolly. Man, my bad. I did calc Jolly. If I put Adamant in the calc, it actually does 82 to 98 percent. So it was like a roll. I think slightly in Psychic Mutus' favor, and Earthquake would have done pitiful damage. Earthquake would have done like if I put Grace Terrain in here. Earthquake would have done 32 to 38 to the manager. So that was actually a fine play uh, by Psychic Mutu and. Like, Leak doesn't have anything, like, his plays, like, going for a Magma Storm dodge with either the, with one of those three months, I assume he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna go into Scarf to Rack. Maybe go for a Stone Edge crit, just goes for CC, doesn't even do half, and Medicham is gonna blow this away as long as the high jump kick connects, which it does. And Leak can't do anything, this is a bad matchup. Like I said earlier, I don't think he would have expected Psychic Mutu to bring a manage him, especially with him using Mew lately. Majuna just drops, the intimate doesn't matter. And yeah, Heatran also drops to the manage him. He can even go for... Now he's just gonna high jump kick because there's no point in going for the net, but because like, why? It's also like inaccurate. And Ice Punch obviously doesn't kill from there. Actually, T-Punch might have killed, but his last move... His last move was probably fake out, yeah. And yeah, Psychic Mutu picks up the win. He's on Team U as West, I think, and League is on Canada, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope I didn't give out any wrong information. So this far, there happened, I think, two AV games. I didn't catch those because I don't. I will not catch Game Three games. I don't have knowledge. Gen Three. Um, I did catch one Gen Five game so far, which was Blurry picking up the win for Team Germany, and now Psychic Mutu picking up the win for US West in this. Sun and Moon, the first, I think that was the first Sun and Moon OU game 
and unfortunately wasn't able to catch it live but I do think we have updated candle playing either today or tomorrow so I'm, actually, I'm probably gonna be catching that live for you guys I'm gonna ask him again when he plays if I forgot I think he dropped it now he only I think he only put the day he didn't put the exact time when he's playing I mean it's definitely cool for Psychic Mewtwo to pick up the win like that like I would never have expected him to bring a Medichim I probably am repeating myself I just don't see Medichim usually doing much like I've, I've seen people see that they don't like Medichim at the moment because good players spam Mew at the moment but even if they have a Mew like you can pair it with stuff like Toxic Spikes to weaken out the Mew which is like on one of the Ricardo teams, that was the case. So it was like Toxic Spikes, Greninja. I mean, it doesn't have to be Greninja, you can just have Toxic Spikes supports in general. Because the team with Mew is like. The Mew is just relying. The team is just relying on Mew to check manage him. Like, some balanced teams just rely on that, and if you weaken it down with like Toxic Spikes, it can't even check manage him anymore. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and. I'll see you with. Um, probably live World Cup games later if there are gonna be any like I said and I also recorded my man sorry vs I love league for this rigid rigid tour however I still don't know how to pronounce it forgive me I'm still German my English is not my my English is not the best but yeah it's, it's not that bad honestly it's okay and yeah regrets to second Mewtwo for picking up the victory this is round one so I think each of these guys are gonna buy two more people so they're basically in a bracket, there's like a pa pairings with four people. I don't know how it works exactly, if you get like points depending on how many games you win or which place you finish in a group. But I'll figure it out as, as we move on in the tour. Yeah, I think you get points because there's like a spreadsheet in the... There's like a spreadsheet in the thread. Thank you guys for watching. Dogwitch standing out and Medicham is still a monster, don't sleep on Medicham, good lord. Peace out, friends.